In this question, we are being told the equation of, of the volume V of a liquid flowing through a pipe in time T under steady flow is given by this expression, where R is the radius of the pipe, P is the pressure difference, L is the length of the pipe, and this is the coefficient of viscosity. Now, they've given us the dimensions for the coefficient of viscosity as this right there, and they're telling us to show that the above is dimensionally consistent now for us to be able to show that an equation is dimensionally consistent the procedure is going to be this we are going to find the dimensions of the right hand side then we're also going to find the dimensions of the left hand side now if the two answers we get are the same then it we shall conclude by saying that since the dimensions on the right hand side are equal to the dimensions on the left hand side therefore this equation is dimensionally consistent that's how we are going to do it so i'll i will as well get right into it and start doing the number so i'll begin by the dimensions on the right hand side on the right hand side we have v over t we want the dimensions of v and the dimensions of t what is v according to the question v is described as volume so it means that here this is volume volume is l to the power three divide that by t t is time because the question says that v of a liquid flowing through a pipe is given by t by time t so t is representing time so that l over t and definitely this is the same as saying l cubed T to the power negative 1. These are the dimensions on the right hand side of this equation. So now let's go ahead and look for the dimensions on the left hand side of the equation. So now looking at the left hand side of the equation, we have this expression here. The left hand side, we have pi r to the power 4, p divide that by 8, nga, and l. So this is equal to, first of all, pi is a constant, and we know that constants are dimensionless. So it means that this pi does not have a dimension. Then this is r to the power 4. r, according to our question, is radius of the pipe. So it means that this is L. So it's going to become L to the power 4 times P. P is pressure difference. Now what are the dimensions of pressure? So, first of all, we need the dimensions of R, then the dimensions of P, the dimensions of this, and the dimensions of that. Pi is a constant. Constants don't have dimensions. 8 is also a constant. Constants do not have dimensions. Or constants are dimensionless. So, R is to the power of 4. What is P? Pressure. So, we need to find the dimensions of pressure. Um, let's do some side work for that. We know that pressure is force over area the thing i'm doing in red is just side work so we know force is mass times acceleration divide that by area we know mass is capital m that's mass acceleration is l t to the power negative 2 divide that by area which is l squared so it means the dimensions for pressure are capital M, this L and that L, this is L to the power 1, this is L squared. So 1 minus 2 is L to the power negative 1, that is T to the power negative 2. These are the dimensions of pressure, and so we are going to come, remember what I, I said, whatever is in red ink right here is just side work. So, but, so meaning that the dimensions for pressure are m l to the power negative 1 t to the power negative 2 divide that by the dimensions of this the dimensions of the coefficient of viscosity according to our question that was given to us as m l to the power negative 1 t to the power negative 1 so this is going to become m l to the power negative 1 t to the power negative 1 times the dimensions of l which is length of the pipe according to the question times l so from there we're going to go ahead and simplify this so it means this is going to become 
put combine the two l's together so we have l which is 4 minus 1 which is l to the power 3 multiply that by m multiply that by t to the power negative 2 so this is t to the power negative 2 divide that by down here we have m yes then combine the l's we have l to the power negative 1 here and l to the power 1 of course negative 1 plus 1 gives you 0 so l disappears because any number to the power 0 is 1 then we have t to the power negative 1 this is t to the power negative 1 and so definitely this is going to end up being this m is going to cancel with that m and then we have l to the power 3 then we have t here remaining t we have negative 2 here and negative 1 negative 2 minus negative 1 gives us negative 1 and so now these are the dimensions on the left hand side now realize that the dimensions on the left hand side are the same as the dimensions on the right hand side and so after realizing that fact we shall conclude by saying And that right there is our answer. Like this video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe. Check out other awesome content on the channel. As far as dimensional analysis goes, I have a full lecture on dimensional analysis. If you want to watch the full lecture where I get to talk about dimensions from the very beginning and I talk about all the techniques, all the possible numbers there are as far as dimensions is concerned, Check out the link to that video in the description below. My name is Anul Dranga Kuramia and I will see you next time.